guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hi, my name is Dana. So more than a year ago, I put up a video of my tea collection and I kind of just wanted to give you guys an updated look at what has changed. I'm just gonna get right into it and I'm going to start with my sample bags. So I have this teal basket full of bags of tea. All of these teas are ones that I've tried. There's only a few that are unopened. Alpine Punch. I have a couple of these. I'm planning to do a tea giveaway once I reach a thousand subscribers. So I do have one of these for you guys too. Vanilla Bergamot. This one is also unopened because I also have this in a sachet form. So when I drink vanilla bergamot, right now I'm just using my tea bags. And the only other one that is unopened and sealed still is Lady Marmalade. And same thing with this one. I also have tea bags of it. I have some vanilla swirl. I think I only have enough in here for about one cup, but I do have a couple other little containers of vanilla swirl, as you'll see as I go on. This one is maple syrup oolong. I love this one and definitely am planning on restocking it once I drink through this. And then we have some peach matcha that I used for a video to make peach matcha lemonade. A Pero Spritz. A lot of these in the bags are ones that I reviewed on my channel. So if there's anything that sounds really good to you, chances are I have a video so you can see what I thought. White peach. This one is the newest tea that I have right now. Chocolate Rocket. I hadn't drank this one in a while, but I had some the other day and I forgot how good it is. It kind of tastes like a raspberry Tootsie Pop and it's a mate tea, which is awesome because it's going to be nice and energizing, which who doesn't want that? Me to We India. La La Lemon from when I still worked at David's Tea. Mango Boost. I totally forgot about this one. I forgot I even had it. So this is actually good that I'm doing this video because I'll remember what I have. This is from Lake Geneva Spice Company, which is just like a little tea shop up in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And this one is French Lemon Cream. I wasn't super crazy about it. It has a really light flavor to it. It's a rooibos tea. And English Toffee. This I bought way back when because I wanted to make eggnog lattes. This one has no label on it, but I think this was white cranberry bark from the holidays. It came in one of these things, I think, because this just has like, an, like a clear bag in it too. This is caramel shortbread. I have honestly not drank this one since I did my first impression video on it back in December. So I'm not sure when I will drink this one again, but I did like it from what I remember. This is just a blank bag, <laughs> but there is something in it. Oh, this is Moonlight White. I think I have enough for like maybe just a cup or two. This is a really unique tea. It's a straight white tea, but it's like a white pour tea. Kind of weird, but a really delicious tea. This is Sweet Dreams. Now it's called Dream On. This is the old name, but it's the same tea. I actually got this for my grandparents. I like packaged it up into tea bags for them so they wouldn't have to like deal with loose tea. But then they ended up not ever drinking it, so they gave it back to me, which is nice. I'm glad it didn't go to waste. They didn't just throw it out. And then the last one is Deep Blue Spirulina. This was a fun one too. Here are some sealed teas that are like unopened that I'm planning to use for my giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers. Alpine Punch and Toasted Walnut. I have like a surplus of these because these are two of my very favorite teas of all time. So I thought it would be cool to give you guys a chance to try some of my very favorites. And then I have these from the David's Tea Starter Kit. Cinnamon Royalist Chai, Buddha's Blend, and the Skinny, all really popular, good David's Tea choices. And then I just have a couple little pre-packed portions of iced tea that you can use to make like one cup of tea. You don't even need to like use the spoon and measure it out because it's already done for you. These are two more that I gave to my grandparents, but again, they ended up just not that into it, so they gave them back. So I have some mother's little helper in tea bags. My mom wrote on the top, sleepy, so they knew what this tea is for. And then I have some cold 911, which has cold written on the top. But this one I have opened because 
I use this one all the time. Anytime like my fiance or me like aren't feeling good, we go right for our cold 911. Serenity Now, this is one I've been working on drinking through. So there's only like one little spoonful left. So I'm probably actually drinking this tonight. I've been having it as my nighttime tea lately. I love this one. It's lavender, strawberry, and blueberries. So I might actually buy more, but I just really don't like the rainbow tins. They're like an awkward size and shape. And I really like that like these kinds of tins like stack. They just look really uniform and I like the way they look. And like this one next to it, like it's just, it doesn't look right. So I'm trying to drink through this so I can get rid of the tin. And then if I want to refill like one of those tins with Serenity now, I'll let myself do that. But I probably won't buy any for a while. And then this one, is, it is Let It Snow, is that? No, no, it's Snow Day. Let It Snow is different. And I still have a lot of this. Since I did my last tea collection video, Christmas has come and passed, and I did drink a little of this. It's just not great. Like it's mint and chocolate, but it's a lot more mint than chocolate. I don't know, it's just kind of weird, but I think the tin is so gorgeous. And I hate to have it go to waste. Like I definitely will drink it. It's just gonna take me some time. I do like mint and chocolate, but this one's an herbal tea, so I'm not, I'm not like super sold, but hopefully next winter I can drink through this. You know what would be really awesome? To use like hot chocolate and froth it up with like chocolate milk. I don't know. I'll make something interesting over the holidays with this, I'm sure. Okay, now we can get into tea bags. First ones I'll show you are not David's tea. I keep them in my bat mug. This is one of my favorite mugs, honestly. Like this is from the Halloween that I worked at David's Tea and I just love it so much. There's even bats like inside the mug. This is Kava Stress Relief by Yogi Tea. It's really nice. It has like some licorice root and kava root. Also there's like carob, cinnamon, ginger. So all things that I really like. Cardamom, hazelnut flavor. It's super sweet and also it's a nice choice for like, if you're trying to like do relaxing activities, it doesn't make you want to sleep, but it's nice if you're looking to like journal at night or like do some like relaxing, like stretching or yoga, something like that. And then sticking with that Halloween theme, I have this bat. I got him at like Home Goods or Marshalls or something. I think he's meant to hold like a kitchen sponge, but of course, like I put tea bags in him. <laughs> so these are just some random tea bags that I didn't have like very many of. I have two apple cider. These I'm probably going to put in the giveaway, so I'm going to put them in the other basket so I remember. I have three birthday cake, which is super fun, but not something I drink a whole lot. I have one blueberry muffin that I was holding on to for so long because blueberry muffin was limited edition, but I think now it's back as a permanent tea, so I don't have to continue holding on to that. I have a whole unopened box of Lady Marmalade because I bought it to use for my bridesmaid brunch. I bought like a ton because ever since this tea came out, like I was waiting to get engaged and I was just thinking like, this would be so like perfect and elegant to drink at my bridesmaid brunch. And that has now passed and obviously like there's only four of us, I have three bridesmaids and we didn't drink through all of the tea. So I have like a ton of Lady Marmalade. We have Lady Marmalade again, vanilla bergamot again. But then we have chocolate covered almond, which I'm definitely giving away some of these, even though it's coming back. I have a lot of them and it's, it's really delicious. I don't drink it super often because I'm like not crazy into most chocolate teas, but it is really good. And then I have these grocery store brand peppermint teas from Bigelow. I have raspberry meringue, which I love and I just forget to drink it. This is a white tea with raspberry and chamomile flowers. It was part of the Macaron collection, which I thought was like the cutest collection like ever to exist. So I have all the mugs and everything. And then I have some tea bags of the Skinny. It's like a blend of pour and oolong tea. And then it has orange peel, elothero root, ginger. So it's like a flavor profile I really like because I really like like blends of citrus and ginger and things like that. And then I have this crazy basket. So this used to have 
Moroccan mint in it, which I loved and I miss that tea. But now it has matcha ice cream. I taped the label on, but for some reason it faded. One is matcha ice cream, another one that I tried on my channel. More raspberry meringue. Not a whole lot though, just a little bit. I have this unopened honey lullaby because I hoard this tea. It's one of my favorites. It's definitely my favorite sleepy time tea. Then we have hot chocolate. I've been doing something kind of weird with this one. Recently, I started adding it to coffee. Like I steep it right in with my coffee, if that makes sense because I was looking for a way to make like a mocha without adding tons of sugar, like any kind of mocha sauce or anything like that. And I feel like it's really nice. It's like a chocolate coffee, so it's really fun mixing those. Then I have a little bit of coconut cream pie. I'm looking to make a tea infused ice cream soon. And this would have been a really good one. I love coconut flavored ice cream, but I definitely don't have enough to use to make that. So and I, I don't think I'll buy anything new when I have so many others I can use, but that would have been a good one. Then I have the Buzz, another one of my favorites, lemongrass, ginger. This is one of the most energizing teas that David's Tea has. That's how it looks. It's dusted with matcha, which makes it like extra crazy energizing. Cream of Earl Grey, a classic. This is like a vanilla Earl Grey. I don't drink this one a lot, to be honest. I don't, I'm honestly not sure if I've even had any since like I left David's Tea because this thing is pretty full. And then I have a million little tiny tins. I'll just fire through them real quick. I have Mango Madness. Mint chocolate rooibos, strawberry rhubarb parfait. Ooh, I have some more sweet dreams. It's just like a little tiny bit. Ooh, this one's cherry blossom, blueberry jam. Oh, movie night. Who remembers movie night? Let me know down below. This one has popcorn in it. It's super buttery. Oh, I miss this tea. This one was discontinued. Ooh, chocolate macaroon. This one makes one of the best iced lattes just peachy. I have more sweet dreams and more toasted walnut. So again, way too much of this. These are ones that like, they're not sealed in any particular way. So I don't think I would do them like in a giveaway to you guys, cause you guys don't know me. So it might be kind of weird, but I mean, a lot of these I really could like stand to get rid of. So I might give them to some of my friends. Here's a little more vanilla swirl, more Alpine punch. This one is another one that was discontinued, Dark Chocolate Delight. I think I actually have two of these because this one's almost empty. Yes, so I have two little guys of Dark Chocolate Delight. I have some more Blueberry Jam. This one I think is Pink Lemonade. Strawberry Rhubarb Parfait and Raspberry Mojito. This one has cotton candy in it, which is super cool. It has like pink and blue little cotton candy pieces in it. On the back of the tin of cotton candy when I worked at David's Tea, it said that the best way to drink it is as like an ice cream float. So like put ice cream in it. And I still have yet to try that, but I've done it with like vanilla creamer as an ice latte and like, oh my God, it's so good. So I can only imagine like if you use ice cream. This one is maple sugar. I got it as one of the back from the dead teas two Halloweens ago when I worked at David's Tea. This one was just okay, to be honest. Another one that's just okay, but seems to have a really big like following is Swamp Water. This was another back from the dead tea. The tea comes out looking like Swamp Water. So honestly, like it's not that appetizing. Like I'd so much rather have like a matcha if I wanted something green. And this one has like orange sprinkles for Halloween, but it tastes like strawberry. So it's a little bit weird. I hope they don't bring this one back this year. I also was not a fan of like Witch's Brew or Stormy Night. So I am keeping my fingers crossed for some new Halloween teas this year because I always want to try new teas and like Halloween is one of my favorite times of year. So I really hope David's Tea brings out something good for Halloween this year. Or if there's other tea companies that like consistently kill it for Halloween, please let me know because I'm always looking to try something new, David's tea or not. Next I have this little like set of the malt shop collection teas. This is so ridiculous, but I bought this because it was cute. It looks cute on my shelf, but that's not why you buy tea. This one is strawberry shake, which 
I honestly didn't like that much. Maybe I just don't really like teas with strawberry because I was just saying like swamp water is weird and I have strawberry. It smells like strawberry yogurt, but it's a green tea. So it's just like kind of a weird combination. So I literally never drink this, which is terrible, but looks cute on my shelf and that apparently was my priority when I bought it. <laughs> And then Vanilla Swirl, I do like this tea. Look how pretty it is. This wasn't so popular when it came out because it doesn't really taste like vanilla. It tastes more like lemony because it has lemongrass in it. This was my favorite of the three, Mint Chip Sunday. So good. And I do have a tin of this too. As you'll see later, it's the ice cream printed tin there. This one makes an excellent iced latte. And you know what, since I have so much of this, maybe this is what I'll use to make my tea infused ice cream. It would be an awesome choice. As an iced latte, it tastes just like mint chip ice cream. So as like a real ice cream, I can imagine it will be excellent. I have a couple of these stackable heart tins that came out for Valentine's Day. These two are from not this past Valentine's Day, but the one before that. Very romantic which I really liked. Mm, I used to have a tin of this and I drank all the way through it, so now I'm like holding on to this. I know this won't come back. It has all kinds of beautiful flowers in it, and it has like a berries and cream feel, and it's an oolong tea, so it is right up my alley. And the other one from last year is White Chocolate Rose. I really do love these two teas, but it's so little tea that like you're afraid to drink it because you don't want to use it up me in a weird spot. It's so pretty though. It has little rose buds. And this is definitely like the rosiest tea I've ever tried at David's Tea. Like it has a strong rose flavor as its prominent flavor. Third Valentine's Day one I have is Sweet Tart, which is from this past Valentine's Day. It was actually the only Valentine's Day tea they did this year. And I honestly didn't love it a whole lot, but I do love the tin. I did a review on this one as well. And then sticking with the theme of like little tins, I have this set, they're like the print of the Feel Good collection from January 2017. But these are totally different teas. These aren't from that collection at all. But we have Livewire Lemon, which is awesome. It has Yao Pan leaves, which are similar to Mate. They'll have a pretty fair amount of this. These guys are not, oh, you know what? I thought these weren't stackable. Wait a minute. They have magnets on them. Okay, so I thought these weren't stackable, but even better, they are stackable and magnetic. Holy crap, I just learned something new today. And then we have mocha orange biscotti. This one is like coffee, chocolate, and orange, which sounds weird, but it's really good. I bought this kit like because I love these flavors. Like these I didn't buy because they're cute because I could have very well done without these on my shelf. I do think they're cute, but I wouldn't have bought them unless they were on sale and flavors that I like. Mother's Little Helper, this is one I probably didn't need, but it came in the kit. Last but not least of these guys is one of my favorite teas of all time, yet again, Honey Lullaby. It's like chamomile, rose petals, cornflower petals and it tastes like honey and it's so delicious. I really wish they would bring this guy back because it's so good. It reminds me of if Sleeping Beauty was a tea because it's like pink and blue petals and sleepy time tea. So this is like the tea of Princess Aurora because she's Sleeping Beauty and it's like a sleepy tea. I always think about like different teas as like different characters. Like I know there are some tea companies that do teas for like different fandoms, which is super awesome. I have some matcha. I keep it in this mermaid mug that my mom got me and I keep my little whisk in there too, but this is the David's Tea Organic Ceremonial Matcha, which I probably will never buy again because it's so expensive and now that I don't have the discount, I just can't justify it anymore. Even though it's like super creamy and delicious. And then this I guess isn't technically tea, French Blue Lavender. And I thought I'd kind of experiment making like my own sort of blend, so I haven't used this yet, but that's the intention behind buying that. And then I have these three. They were originally filled with teas from the Feel Good collection, but I have ran out of those, so now they have new things in them. Except this one, this has nothing in it. 
It used to have Buku super fruit and we just finally ran out of it because that's one of our go-tos. Every time we would eat something bad and like not feel good afterwards, we would always like reach for Buku super fruit because you feel it like detoxing you and like getting the bad stuff out of your body and just like, I love it. And I found out that they're bringing it back for the 10 year anniversary. So that is good news. So I've decided to keep this one empty until it has its rightful tea back in it. And in this one, I keep Forever Nuts. That's just a tea that everyone should keep on hand all the time because it's delicious and it tastes like a cinnamon roll in a cup. And in this one, I have one of my very favorites, my morning go-to. If I don't know what to drink, I always have this, so there's barely any left. This is my Sweet Ginger Heat. I have stocked up on this a couple times since I left David's Tea because, again, it's my go-to. It has ginger, licorice root, orange peel, and pink peppercorns, and it's a green tea, so this one is my ideal tea that I love more than anything. This is my favorite tin. Like, it kind of rotates what I keep in here, but usually it's like something I love. Right now I have Vanilla Orchid, which is also from David's Tea, obviously. It's a vanilla and orchid scented oolong tea. It's like $8 an ounce, it's really expensive. And for the first time, I had frequent steeper rewards because when you work there, you can't have that. So I used my free rewards to get two ounces of the vanilla orchid. Okay, next let's do my tinzillas or large tins. These tins are meant to hold 10 ounces, but it definitely varies how much will fit. Like this one, when it was full, held 13 ounces of Fruity Oasis. I don't know why I had so much of this. I did really enjoy this tea, but I don't drink a lot of iced teas. And this is one that I would never drink hot, but it is a rooibos tea and it has aloe vera in it. So it's super hydrating and refreshing. I used it in a video where I made tea pop. It was really good as that or as an iced tea, but I can't really imagine it being super enjoyable as a hot tea. And this one has been discontinued, so there's no way I can ever refill this. So I guess it's good that I stocked up while I could. Next we have Turmeric Glow. This one is awesome, except for it doesn't have black pepper in it. I don't really know like the science behind it, but in order for turmeric to absorb into your system and give you the benefits of turmeric, you need to have black pepper with it. So I do wish that this tea had black pepper. It tastes amazing. It has like pineapple, turmeric, so it's spicy, but it also has a sweet fruitiness to it. But whenever I drink it, I just make sure that I grate a little bit of black pepper right into the infuser. Next I have pumpkin chai, a classic. I could never get enough pumpkin chai. I've actually been drinking it already, even though it's still like technically summer. I still have like a ton of it because I always stock up. It has little caramel pieces, so it's like a caramely pumpkin chai and it's just beautiful. Speaking of chai, I have s'mores chai, which s'mores, if you know me, like s'mores are one of my favorite things in the entire universe. This is a terrible story, but I was thinking about quitting my job at David's Tea but I knew that we were getting a s'mores chai. So I kind of used this tea as motivation to like stay as long as I could because I definitely wanted to stock up. And look how far through the tin I am. Oh my gosh, I had this less than a year. And this is how much I've drank. So you can tell I love it. This is one of the only like chocolate teas that I'm super into. Then we have my fiance's favorite tea, raspberry cream pie, another one that we always keep on hand. I, raspberry, there's flower petals. It's awesome, like no matter what you do, hot, iced, hot latte, iced latte, it's awesome no matter what. All right, and this tea, Carrot Cupcake, makes one of my favorite lattes of all time. It is so good. It's a rooibos tea, so it has no caffeine. It has apple, carrot, ginger, cinnamon, rooibos, cocoa, ginger, licorice root, and it has natural whipped cream and apple flavoring. It tastes like a carrot cupcake. And they did bring this one back pretty recently, so I would definitely buy this again, but I still have plenty. So now we'll get into like the real like nitty gritty of it in four ounce tins. I have way too many of these. Some are really full, some are like super close to empty. There are a few that I like don't love the tins, so I would be okay with 
you know, giving them to a friend or recycling them, but a lot of them I would just refill. So I'm really not looking to get any new tins. I've been trying to not buy any since I stopped working there. I know I don't need any more. The only one I bought since my last day was the gold one. This came out this past Christmas and for a while I didn't buy it, but then like it was after Christmas, I was at the store. I think it was on sale. I don't remember, but it's gold. <laughs> In this one right now, I have the very last scoop of my matcha again matcha, which is another one of my go-tos and my very favorites. So I'll probably refill this either with regular again matcha because it's cheaper or again with matcha again matcha. Gen Maicha is a green tea. It's like a traditional Japanese green tea. It also has little pieces of pop rice in it, so it kind of tastes like rice cakes. A lot of people don't like Gen Maicha, but I am one of the people who absolutely loves it. And I have this tin of Chai and Mighty. This is one I wouldn't mind getting rid of. It's just like a plain navy tea tin. I do have a little left, probably enough to make like a latte and maybe like another cup of tea. So probably when fall hits, I'll make a chai latte and then get rid of this tin. This is a tea that I should probably throw out all together. It is a tea from Tivana. It's gingerbread. It's super cool because I just never drink it. I think at this point it's a few years old. One of my friends gave it to me when I worked at David's Tea. She previously worked at Tivana. And like now there's no Tivana, so it's like I don't want to throw it away because I know it'll never exist again but also like, I just never drink it, never. And it's old, so probably gonna get rid of this one and the tin. This is one of my favorite tins. It's a Halloween one. From the same time I bought that bat mug, it has those same cute little bats and like a haunted castle on it. I have apple strudel in here right now. So one of my goals is to drink through this before Halloween time because if they bring out a new Halloween tea, I'm really hoping to be able to refill this with like a Halloween tea or even just like a chai, you know, like something good for fall. This is a tea that I got for Gerald, my fiance. It is lime gelato and I think he forgot that we have it because I definitely did. So it's still like pretty full I'd say. It's really, really nice. It's a green tea. It tastes almost like a key lime pie. It has like a nice creaminess which is nice with the contrast of the lime. This tin is so cute. I love this bear. He is just precious. And there's a little bear too. He's even on the lid. <laughs> But this is uh, another really controversial tea that a lot of people hate, but I like. It is called Nutty Granola Crunch. It came out in fall 2016, and it tastes and smells exactly like straight up peanuts. It's a rooibos tea, and I love it, so I'm glad I have a lot of it because it's one of my go-tos in fall. This is one of the last tins I bought before I left David's Tea. It has some lambs on it. But I mostly like it for the color. I think this is so beautiful. It's like a robin's egg blue. And inside it, I have citron oolong. It was being discontinued, so I got like a crazy discount on it. Unfortunately, I don't really love it. It has like jasmine flowers, but it doesn't have like a jasmine taste. It tastes like citron, I guess, so like lemon, orange. You don't really get much of the oolong flavor. So once I run out of this, I'll refill it with something else because I do want to keep the tin. Next I have Sunny Sea. I did do a review of this one. I thought my mom was buying this amount for her. Like I thought she really liked it, but then she ended up like only taking a little for herself and giving it to me. So I have way too much of this tea that I don't really prefer, but it's good to have on hand just like emergency, like if you feel like you're getting sick. This one is one of my very favorite teas, Toasted Walnut. It is so good. It makes an excellent latte as well. And it's so awesome. It's a green tea with nut brittle, pineapple, coconut, walnuts, and you know, flavorings. I used to put, when I first started at David's Tea, on the cute tins, I'd put the information on the bottom. But then I like stopped doing that because I'm like, oh, I know all the teas. <laughs> but I'm sure there are details that I've forgotten. So I kind of wish I continued to do that. This is called Glitter and Gold. Oh, it has star sprinkles in it. It's so pretty. There used to be a version of it that had like actual glitter, or not like actual glitter, but like edible glitter. Here's like a little star. 
but it had edible glitter in it. So when you steep your tea, it was like literally sparkly. My old boss at David's Tea gave me some to try and it was like so beautiful and it honestly tastes a little better than it does now but I still really love it. So this one is an awesome fall tea because it has cloves, so it's almost like a really light chai. I have cardamom French toast. This one I think I still have. You know, I am running a little low on it, but I still have a pretty good amount. This one is perfect for winter as a hot tea or a latte. Another one of my very favorites, Nutty by Nature. I used to have a whole tinzilla of this, the large tin, and I drank through the whole thing because I love it so much. And this one is discontinued, so I am hoarding this one as well because I love it so much. It's a mate with almonds and it has like monk fruit and apricot. And it's just like, it's so delicious. I love nutty teas, obviously, and it's just like creamy and amazing. And I just drink it as like a straight hot tea and that's it. I never make it into a latte or anything because it's perfect the way it is. And this one is Alpine Punch. Another one of my favorites. It tastes like amaretto. It's like almondy and there's like rose buds in there and black pepper. And it's a rooibos tea, so it's caffeine free. So this is probably one of my favorite caffeine free teas. Okay, next let's do my rainbow shelf. So it looks all weird and empty now. So I'll start with what I have in my white tins. I have Powerberry, which was a mate that has been discontinued. So I don't drink it a lot, because again, I am scared to run out of it because it probably won't come back. It has like honey bush, black currant, mate, viscous, elderberry, garcinia, juniper berry, stevia extract, and raspberry. It has a really unique taste. And it's so energizing. I honestly don't know why they discontinued it. I love it. This one is Bear Trap. Not my favorite. And the tin is really hard to open, so I'm just gonna leave it closed. Here are two of my favorite things ever. I have Wayusa, which is like the cousin of the mate, and it just makes you feel really alert and focused. This is another one that a lot of people don't like. They say it tastes like grass or leaves and like maybe it does, but I love it. It's so good. And I just, I love the effects of it. So that makes it even more rewarding to drink. Pick Me Up, this one was from some sort of cold collection for when you're not feeling well. So this one has turmeric, black pepper, ginger, but it's a mate, so it's energizing too. So I think like the intention was if you're sick but you still have to go to work because it gives you a little bit of energy but also all ingredients that will help to make you feel better and keep you hydrated. But I just like to drink it on a regular day because it's so delicious and spicy. Then my orange ones, I have Mudslide, which is a rooibos with chocolate and coffee. I still have quite a bit of it. It makes an awesome ice latte though so I should keep this one in mind because summer's almost over. Wild strawberry this one was part of the orchard collection last year and it's been kind of replaced by white peach which I think is a little better than this but I really like this because it's a strawberry tea but it has rosemary and vanilla so it almost tastes like berries and cream but with like a savory twist. You'll probably notice that like when we were doing all the like little ones in the bags and stuff, I was like, oh, I'm not crazy about this one. But all of these are like my favorites because they're all the ones I've like committed to getting a full tin of. So I feel like this is the exciting part of the tea collection video. This is just some chamomile, just like a straight chamomile. I do need to restock this one pretty soon because I'm getting close to being out of it, but I'm trying to drink through my other sleepy time teas first. So probably be a while before I get more. And then we have Coco Colada, one of my very favorite iced teas. It's just like a pina colada in tea form. And I have plenty of it. Kale matcha and some maple matcha. Pretty low on the maple matcha. I'm not sure if I would buy more of it, to be honest, because I just don't drink flavored matchas, like ever. And then kale matcha, it tastes like kale chips, so again, a weird one. I enjoy it, but I don't think I would buy it again. I don't even think they have this anymore, but even if they did, like I would just buy a straight matcha instead. For example, ceremonial matcha, which I really should stock up on. I'm almost out. This one is so good. 
but it's so expensive to buy matcha, so that's the problem. I love to get on a roll where I'm drinking matcha every day. I feel like there are so many benefits, like your skin, your weight, it can help, like just everything. Like you're energized, but it's like good, clean energy. But it is a really expensive habit, especially if you like the higher grade ones from David's Tea. So next time I might try like a matcha matsu because it's still a pure matcha. It's just not as high grade as this one. So it is a little less expensive. My favorite oolong is the milk oolong. It is so delicious. I love the way oolong looks too. It's like all rolled up into a ball. I'm like fascinated by oolong. If you've ever seen me do like a video where I taste a tea that like involves oolong, you know that I turn into a giant tea nerd every time I'm around it. It's just like a really cool kind of tea. And then in my purple tins, I have two different herbal teas. One is one that I've already talked about, Honey Lullaby. And this is how much I have left in there. And I'm like, again, holding on for dear life and hoarding it because I love it. So I'm trying to still drink through my other sleepy time teas before I have this and the rest of my chamomile. And then this is Magic Potion. I got really excited when this first came out and bought like a ton of it. And honestly, I never drink it, but it is so cool to have on hand. It's butterfly pea flowers. It's like a little dried up flower. When you make your tea, it's like a bluish, like a midnight blue, like a royal blue. And then if you add lemon juice to it, it turns into purple. So it's really cool. And I always like imagined having friends over and like dazzling them with like a magic trick of like showing them how it changes colors, but I have yet to do that. Tin I have Honeycrisp Apple. I have quite a bit of it because I don't reach for it a whole lot. It's like a fruity green tea, of like apple and hibiscus. I'm just not super crazy into hibiscus. I like this tea, it's just not my very favorite, so I will probably force myself to drink it more often in the fall. In this tin, this sweater print, I have another amazing fall tea. This is pumpkin cheesecake from a few years back. I'm saving it for a latte, a hot latte. When fall starts and it's like a little chillier, I'm using the rest of that, so I have plans for that tea. This one is Mint Chip Sunday, another one I absolutely love. This one is my fiance's. It's called The Big Chill. It's a sleepy time tea. I'm not sure if they still have this at David's Tea or not, but it is super nice. It has valerian root in it, so it's a nice alternative to Mother's Little Helper. If you don't like like the mint and the hibiscus and everything, this one's kind of a gentler flavor, which is nice for before bed. I feel like peppermint can be a little stimulating, so a big chill is a good choice. In this gradient tin, I have a tea from Disney World. This is from an Alice in Wonderland set that I bought. It had this and it came in like a French press. So I have like an Alice in Wonderland French press and then the tea wasn't great. I have a little bit left, but I thought I'd put it in the tin. This one has pistachio ice cream in it. This one is amazing. It's a black tea with like pistachios and all kinds of nuts. And it's just super creamy and delicious. There's like almonds. I think there's some apple pieces. I drink this one pretty frequently too. So this is one that I probably would refill when I run out. Last but not least, I have this tin, which has vanilla sencha in it. Vanilla sencha is a Japanese sencha and it is scented with vanilla. So I did review this one as well. So as many of these teas as possible that I reviewed, I will either link in the cards or in the description box. So if you are like curious to get a little more detail about some of these, then you'll definitely wanna check out those other videos because I get pretty in depth. I hope you enjoyed an updated look at my tea collection. Let me know in the comments below what your very favorite tea is of all time. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.